Brothers and sisters, today is a very important day for the Korean people. It is the anniversary of the liberation of Korean people from the colonization of Japanese country. They occupy your country for about 35 years, right? And you are not free. You are being oppressed. You have to obey them. <laughs> they take they take over your country and rule over you. I remember also Malaysia was also occupied by the Japanese for a few years, you know? And it was terrible how the people suffered. The people who suffered most are the comfort women. Uh, they use the comfort women for their pleasure. So after liberation, the people are free. They can develop the country. They can have their own prime minister or president to rule their own country. When you are under somebody, you are not free. But this reminds us of what? <laughs> when you are in sin, you become slaves to sin. You become slaves to the devil. So when you are under the slavery of the devil, you are not free. You are being controlled by them, and they will bring you where? To hell, to be burned eternally. So God sent his only begotten son to liberate us, to set us free from the slavery of sin under the power of Satan. But before God sent his son into this war, he already prepared a mother for him, for his only begotten son, that is Mother Mary. And today we celebrate her assumption into heaven. She is the only creature created by God who had no stain of sin, not even original sin. And her assumption into heaven gives us hope that one day, all of us will also experience the glory of God in heaven. We'll be sharing the glory of God in heaven. And that's why Mother Mary comes here tonight to, to gather all her children to travel with her in Mary Ark of Salvation. And she will bring all of us to heaven. And Jesus God has revealed to us, her mother is our shortcut to heaven. So if we follow her, we can go to heaven. We can go the short way to heaven. And also today is the 19th anniversary of the precious blood of Jesus poured out from her torn heart. I still remember very vividly in my mind that on that day, August the 15th, 2002, my bishop and my younger brother, Father Philip Sue, and myself, we have the anniversary mass at the Blessed Mother Mountain at the 15th station on the stone altar. So after the mass, somebody told us that there are a lot of precious blood on the very spot where two bishops said mass and two Eucharistic miracles occurred on the very same place. First, my bishop said mass day, August 24th, 1995. And the Eucharist that she gave to Julia, to little soul, changed into visible flesh and blood. That was, the, people did not expect that thing to happen, so it was not properly documented. So in the same year, the following month, in September, Bishop Roman Danilak and Father Fim, and they were having mass on the very same spot. And the Eucharist that Judah received and the two spaces changed into visible flesh and blood, and the Eucharist changed into the form, the shape of a heart. So on that spot, on August 15, 2002, the precious blood of Jesus poured out upon the same spot. So the little soul was informed about this. She rushed to the mountain and she saw the precious blood. She knelt down and cried. She shed tears. She took pity on Jesus Christ shedding blood. And after the show, the little soul entered into ecstasy. 
She saw a lot of religious priests and religious, including prelates. Uh, some bishops were there. They were committing sin. So when they commit sin, they add another nail into the hands and feet of Jesus. So when we commit sin, we are again crucifying Jesus on the cross. So what she saw the heart of Jesus torn apart and precious blood came down. <laughs> and Jesus Christ said, look at my heart torn apart. Is there any one of you to saw out my heart? And he said, who are close to me, you should be the one to saw out my torn heart. And Jesus Christ was very pleased with the little soul. Why? Because he offered all her pain and suffering in order to console Jesus, to console Mother Mary. And Jesus Christ revealed that through Mother Mary's solicitation, through her pleading to God the Father to remove the chastisement. And the little soul is helping Mother Mary. Mother Mary is the only one who can stop the cup of the chastisement. And Mother Mary revealed to the little soul, I'm tired of holding the hand of God the Father. The cup is spilling. It's already spilling. Look at the world today. People are dying every day. People are crying. Many people commit suicide because they have no food on the table for the children. So Jesus is very pleased with the little soul. Why? Because he offered up all her pain and suffering. And she not only died twice, she already died three times, four times already, but came back to life again. Because the Lord wanted to continue to use her, could not find a replacement for her. So brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to watch and pray, to be united with the little soul, to console the most sacred heart of Jesus that is still bleeding, to console the immaculate heart of Mary that is still bleeding. So let us, brothers and sisters, arm ourselves with the five spirituality and continue to learn from the little soul so that we become sharp shooters. If we support the little soul, then the little soul will have the strength to support Mother Mary to continue to delay the great chastisement. So tonight, as we gather to pray together, brother and sister, unite ourselves with the little soul and with one another. When we combine our effort together in unity, the devil cannot attack us. So through our praise, offer up willingly and graciously united with the little soul's pain and suffering, we will be able to hasten the turn of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we'll be able to hasten the triumphant return of Jesus into this world. So that the Satan's head will be crushed in no time and put in hell to be burned eternally. So while the Little soul is still alive, still with us. Let us continue to learn quickly from her to arm ourselves with the five spiritualities. Okay. By turning every moment of our life into prayer, then our spiritual life will be sanctified. Okay. Then we'll give birth to perfection of virtue. When we have reached perfection, then we will be like Mother Mary, going straight to heaven, no need to go to purgatory. Hello. So we have to reach holiness and perfection without staying in our soul. That's why Mother Mary was sinless. She had no sin. She was taking a body and soul into heaven. The little soul has already reached perfection. That's why she could go to heaven many times. Look forward to this day, brothers and sisters, so that all of us will be united in heaven to enjoy the eternal happiness there. And the joy will be perfect. The happiness will be perfect. And the weather there will be perfect. So that all look forward to this day. Mother Mary, assumption into heaven, give us this hope. Just a matter of few years. So keep yourself pure and clean and holy and spotless and immaculate. As soon as you have committed a sin, go for a confession. 
reject sin and return to the Lord. Amen.